gauss seidel method problem number 2 the single line diagram of a simple power system with generator at buses 1 and 3 is shown in figure the magnitude of voltage at bus 1 is 1.05 per unit voltage magnitude at bus 3 is fixed at 1.04 per unit with active power generation of 200 megawatt the load consisting of 400 megawatt and 250 mvar line impedances are marked in per unit on 100 mva base line charging susceptances are neglected determine the voltage at buses 2 and 3 using gauss seidel method at the end of first iteration and also calculate slack bus power so and the diagram is given the first bus is a slack bus so in the slack bus voltage magnitude and angle is specified and second bus is a load bus where a real power and reactive power are specified and third bus is a generator bus where the magnitude of voltage and the real power are specified this diagram can also be represented like this first bus is a slack bus v1 equal to 1.05 plus j0 second bus is a load bus 400 megawatt and a 250 mvar p and q are specified pq bus and in the third bus real power p is specified and voltage magnitude is specified so it is pv bus from the given diagram you make the bus data tabular column so bus 1 to 2 the impedances are specified and bus 2 to 3 impedances are specified and 3 to 1 all the values are specified in per unit here the power ratings are given in mva and megawatt like that so we are going to convert these uh, power ratings into a per unit quantity so we know that from the question it is 100 mva base is given so from there we are going to find out the per unit value of power so per unit equal to actual value divided by the base value so actual power is p2 plus jq2 that is 400 plus j250 mva it is a second bus so that's why i mentioned it as p2 and q2 and in the third bus p3 equal to 200 megawatt is specified we are going to convert this into a per unit quantity so p2 equal to 400 divided by 100 it is 4 per unit q2 equal to 250 by 100 2.5 per unit and p3 is 200 by 100 is 2 per unit so in the further steps we are going to use the per unit value only now we are going to draw the bus data tabular column so where we are mentioning the three buses bus 1 2 and 3 and from the diagram we understood that it is a first bus is a slack bus voltage 1.05 and angle 0 specified it is a slack bus and second bus is a load bus p and q are specified this value is 4 and 2.5 are per unit values and it is a pq bus and third bus real power is specified and voltage magnitude is specified it is pv bus or we call it as a generator bus step 1 form y bus so this data bus code and the impedance in per units are specified in the problem now we are going to form the admittance matrix so convert this impedance into admittance simple expression y is equal to 1 by z you will be getting this admittance value okay now you can form the y bus matrix the diagonal element of y bus matrix followed by half diagonal element of y bus matrix y11 equal to so the lines connected to first bus is y12 and y13 just add this two you'll be getting the admittance 20 minus j50 okay so just add the admittance value similarly for y22 the lines connected to bus 2 that is 1 2 and 2 3 add this two you'll be getting 26 minus j52 similarly for third bus 2 3 and 3 1 be getting this and for off diagonal elements y12 equal to y21 and that is equal to negative of the admittances of the line connected between the two buses so minus y12 that will be equal to minus 10 plus j20 similarly for y23 that is equal to y32 is minus 16 plus j32 and for y31 and 13 it is minus 10 plus j30 now we are going to represent all this parameters in a matrix form so it is a 3 cross 3 matrix since the system is of a three bus system now second step we need to initialize all the bus voltages except the slack bus so slack bus voltage is specified as 1.05 angle 0 it remains same throughout uh, the problem and for uh, whatever may be the number of iteration it remains same and the remaining two buses bus 2 and bus 3 we are initializing voltage v2 not equal to 1 angle 0 and v3 not it is a pv bus so voltage magnitude is specified angle is not given we are initializing that to 0 and step 3 starting from bus 1 bus 1 is a slack bus 
so no need to calculate anything now slack bus power can be calculated once you know all the bus voltages so first we need to determine the voltages at all the buses then we need to find out the slack bus power so consider bus 2 so bus 2 is a load bus in load bus we call it as a pq bus p and q are specified and v and del we need to obtain so v2 and del2 we need to find with the help of this formula voltage equation and it is a bus 2 so substitute p equal to 2 k equal to 0 and n equal to 3 so v2 dash equal to 1 divided by y22 and p2 minus j q2 divided by v2 power 0 conjugate minus the second term you, can, you can see q equal to 1 to p minus 1 that is p is 2 here so 2 minus 1 is 1 so q varies from 1 to 1 so one term comes from this summation so that is y21 v1 power 1 and here q varies from p plus 1 to n p is 2 so 2 plus 1 is 3 3 to n is 3 so 3 to 3 one, again one more one term comes from this second summation so y23 v3 power 0 so here we need to note one thing that is for load bus p and q values are negative we need to enter the values of p and q in negative so v2 dash equal to 1 divided by 26 minus j52 and here it is minus 4 plus j 2.5 so actually p2 is 4 we need to enter it as minus 4 and uh, q2 is 2.5 we need to enter it as minus 2.5 already here one minus is there so it become plus j 2.5 divided by this v2 power 0 minus y21 we can get from the y bus matrix and v1 power on from the uh, second step and y23 and v3 okay so substituting and use complex mode in the calculator to calculate this so you will be getting like this and finally you will be getting the answer of 0 0.9746 minus j 0 0.0423 step 4 considering the next bus bus 3 and bus 3 is a generator bus so generator bus is otherwise called pv bus so p and v are specified q and del we need to obtain so write the q formula qp power k plus 1 equal to minus 1 into imaginary part of vp power k conjugate into summation q equal to 1 to p minus 1 yp q vq power k plus 1 plus summation q equal to p to n yp q vq power k so uh, here it is a it is bus 3 so substitute p equal to 3 k equal to 0 and n equal to 3 so minus 1 into imaginary part of v3 power 0 conjugate and in the first summation you can see q equal to 1 to p minus 1 so p is 3 here so 3 minus 1 is 2 so q varies from 1 to 2 so q equal to 1 and q equal to 2 so from the first summation you will be getting two terms q equal to 1 and q equal to 2 and we know that p is 3 here and second term q equal to p to n p is 3 so 3 to n is also 3 so here from the second summation you will be getting one term that is q equal to 3 so substituting all the values here so from the y bus matrix and from the second year step y31 v1 power 1 y32 v2 power 1 so this v2 power 1 we obtain from the third step substituting the values you will be getting the answer like this so from this equation it is minus 1 into imaginary part of this answer so the imaginary part is 1.16 the j term is the imaginary part so q3 is 1.16 now actually third bus is a generator bus pv bus so you need to obtain q and del so del cannot be uh, determined directly so del is nothing but the angle of the voltage so first we need to uh, find out the voltage value from there the angle is del so first we are going to find the v3 temp so on divided by y33 substituting the value of p equal to 3 k equal to 0 and n equal to 3 in the voltage equation we are getting this and here we need to note one thing this is a generator bus so p and q value we need to substitute in positive okay for load bus only it is negative for generator bus we need to substitute positive value of the power okay so so p3 value is 2 so directly you have to enter 2 and q3 value in the last step we uh, determine that is 1.16 directly you can have to enter 1.16 so the remaining values from y bus and step 2 you can enter so you will be getting the v3 temp so here in, the, in this v3 temp 1.0378 angle 0.284 so we require this angle alone no need of this uh, magnitude of voltage angle alone we need okay so del 3 is minus 0.284 since it is a pv bus p 
P and V are specified. So V is there. Already it is given in the problem. See in this diagram, V is given as 1.04. So you have to take that V and the angle is this minus 0.284 what we determine now. So this is your actual voltage at the third bus. So V3 dash. So this uh, dash represents it is a first iteration. So now step 5 calculate slack bus power. So in the previous steps we determined uh, the bus voltages in all the buses. V1 is a slack bus, V2 is a load bus, there we determined uh, voltage and V3 is a generator bus, there we determined the angle and finally we obtained the actual value of voltage. So this is the answer we got from the first iteration. So bus 1 is a slack bus, after first iteration we obtained this values, we are going to use this value and we are going to determine the slack bus power. So bus 1 is a slack bus, so in the voltage equation you need to substitute P equal to 1 and N equal to 3. No need to consider K here. Since in this problem they asked for first iteration. So iteration is over. We obtained this answers. So no need to consider K here. In the voltage equation if you simply substitute P equal to 1 and N equal to 3. You will be getting this expression. Okay, And from this V1 you know. Y11 from Y bus matrix you know. And this V1 you know. Y1 you know. V2 also you know. Y13 you know. And V3 you know. The only unknown is P1 minus JQ1 that is your slack bus power simplify this equation and obtain like this p1 minus jq1 it is a slack bus power that is equal to v1 y11 plus y12 v2 plus y13 v3 into v1 conjugate simply cross multiplying this v y11 goes that side it become y11 into v1 okay and this negative terms minus y11 v2 minus y11 v3 goes to that side it become positive okay and we are multiplying this v1 conjugate to that side it will be getting P1 minus J Q1. So now substituting all the values, V1 finally obtained value and this is from Y bus, Y bus, V2 final value, Y bus, V3 final value and V1 final value. Okay, and you will be getting the slack bus power as 1.9467 minus J 1.399. So this is how you need to obtain the slack bus power and this is how you need to solve the power flow analysis using Gauss-Seidel method.